my god, that hurt. Anyway, uh, Dota 2 The Pride, MUFC versus Zenith. This is a Malaysia versus Singapore, and uh, I believe it's 2 1. Yeah. In favor of uh, Malaysia. So Zenith will take the first move by taking out Magnus. So MUFC have the privileges of the second man, and as well as the fourth. But they don't have first pick, so they will have to pick up two heroes later Zenith, on. And Zenith currently has bad. the first pick, so we're just gonna see what kind of heroes that they're gonna pick up actually. Zenith. Uh, hmm. Too bad. Ah, oh, it's freedom drafting. It's not ice, ice, ice. Damn. They're gonna ban. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, they're gonna ban. ban. <laughs> they don't trust ice anymore. <laughs> Castingo. Well, so laundry being taken out as well. So the next one will probably either be a life stealer or maybe the um, what's that? The next assassin. I should probably yeah, stop yeah. the music, right? Why am I still turning on the music? Yeah. Why is the music still on? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of them are gonna be pissed. Remaining. But yeah, I don't. Maybe MEFC is not gonna ban Nyx. They already ban out that bat raider. And. Uh, Hmm, maybe yeah. this, they are really thinking about this. They really think they are really thinking of about uh, of what to ban because if they take out the Nyx, no, they take out the Keep of the Light. So this Zenith somehow opens up to two, two heroes. So Zenith can, can only take one. So if they take the Life Stealer, they are just gonna take out the next Assassin. And MUFC has the next Assassin then. So this is what they're going for. Yeah, or maybe they want to go for a Rubik. But yeah, next Assassin is the uh... oh Shadow Demon and Nyx. There we go. Yep, indeed. Zenith. Two supports being pick. picked up here, and hmm. Oh, are you in full screen? Is your overlay correct? No, no, it's 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 correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> anyway, two good initiating Ten heroes here. We have the Shadow Demon and, and the Nyx Assassin, but Zenith they have that life. So yeah, as you Five said, players are getting more and more comfortable with picking up that life stealer. He is a really good carry, and uh, see what's gonna be the follow up here for Zenith. And again, Ice 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 is not the one drafting right now. <laughs> they just can't trust Ice 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 anymore. They're just he's just gonna go with a no bad <laughs> game again. <laughs> oh, X Y Tinker picked up. To pick. So they want to pick you up the Tinker to. before they start well, betting it out. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have XY's Tinker now. Yep, yep, yep. And they're not picking any supports yet, but I think they're confident with their picks. And Rubik. Yeah, there we go. Dire team pick. Yes, three casters. <laughs> <laughs> now he's here for the laughs. No, it's actually, yeah. <laughs> It's actually two two men casting and me, just laughing. to mix this with laughing. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, this is gonna be a three-way cast, but it's fine. So, Ten well, seconds. we see Zenith picking up the Rubik. So pretty much just solo mid, they just solo mid Five their carry and their support remaining. is done. We know how they're gonna play this, and as well for MUFC, it's gonna be. Reserve time. Two heroes, two supports being picked up now. So the solo mid and their carries queen, queen of the Oh Man. Nara! Oh, Zenith. Yep, that's, that's for me. Man. That's for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the queen of pain now. Oh, okay. yeah, queen of pain, boys. <clears throat> so yeah, Adamage immediately removed here by Zenith, and I. Uh, Mm, well, the Let's shrek being taken out as well. I, I'm not sure why they're banning this up, but well. No, it's a good synergy with Zenith since uh, they could go for a fast push with that Tinker being picked up, so MUFC doesn't want to deal with that. And there aren't that many heroes left mm. to try and uh, fend off a fast push strat if Zenith goes for one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that is a good ban there by MUFC. I see, I see, but. I'm actually seeing a very, very strong ganking lineup coming out from MUFC based on these three heroes because Nick Sassy can gank really well once he's level 6 and Queen of Pain, obviously, one the best nuke ganker, ganker with the nukes ever. So 
she is going to scream the hell out of the opponent team if they are not too careful during the mid game. So Nyx Assassin can gank very well. Shadow Demon can be part of a gank as well. He could gank, he could support. Shadow Demon is very versatile as well based on what they can do. So the Lina being taken out as well, as well as the Juggernaut. So Zenith going to be really careful with what they're going to pick next. And the Faceless Void being taken out. Yep. That's going to be the last man here for Zenit. Just, uh, yeah, basically removing the carry heroes here for MEFC. But MEFC, they still have the Weaver open. They could go for him, but it's going to be a little bit hard to lane him. But, again, they could go for an aggressive try lane. Go for a safe lane hero, solo at the top. But, again, it depends on how uh, Zenit's going to be playing this. Yeah, so the final ban is going to come out from MEFC and we'll be going on to the picks already. Ten seconds remaining. Zenith so far having a hard carry Five on their side, life stealer. Minor Tinker is gonna be there for the split push once it comes once his boots of travel comes up. So the Queen of Pain will probably win the lane against the Tinker depending on how it goes. From what I see because of that aggression coming out. But Tinker might be able to win the lane. After all it's XY. XY's Tinker is the best of all so far. Very he plays a really, really awesome Tinker. Yeah, <coughs> and but then again, Zenith, mm, they could go for a safe lane Tinker if they want to get another mid lane hero. That is possible. It's possible, uh, but it's not recommended. Tinker is most probably going on the mid lane. Other, other than that, maybe jungle. Like, he could jungle up in the, ju the Ancient, because it's the Radiant side, it's easier to jungle, technically. Yeah, but it's gonna take a while in the MUFC. I don't, I don't think uh, Zenith will be going Ten for that kind of play, remaining. not unless... Uh, can't say what happens, it's just wait for the Five picks. Seconds remaining. Time. We have nothing Earth much to say about this and Earth Shaker. <laughs> oh, there, there's your Ash Shaker. <laughs> Ash Shaker, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> right off the bat, I'm just laughing about was, this was commentary. A... Yeah, yeah. Sorry for interrupting. No, no, no. I mean, that was an instant pick. Like, <laughs> he picked that straight away after that ban. I mean, uh, I mean, not. <laughs> what am I saying? I mean, they they picked up the Earthshaker pretty soon without thinking much about it. I think. Ten seconds remaining. Nah, are, are they expecting a PL pick because PL is a viable pick here Five for MUFC? Remaining. They need a carry. And uh, she's not so popular. Uh, lately, but maybe. But I prefer to see Viver. <clears throat> I don't know, PL is too. Wow, Kunka! <laughs> so Kunka like being picked up. Um, well, we, we, we are seeing a very weird lineup coming out here. Earthshaker rarely being picked up. Kunka as well. Um, Q Pet Dragons, actually. Why, why, why do I keep calling Red them? Red Pandas. Red Pandas, yeah. <laughs> they changed their name. Cupid Red Pandas you should so love the love the Kunkar a lot, especially Sing Sing. Okay. He just loves the Kunkar. Mm -hmm. But now we're Ten gonna see a Kunkar gameplay remaining. from MUFC. So most probably Kunkar is gonna be their carry. Five and the last remaining. last hero from Zenith is gonna be picked up in just a while. Who is it gonna be? What uh, do you think about Heart Soul for MUFC? Heart Soul. Heart Soul. Darkseer? Yeah, it's because Darkseer? Oh, yeah. he he wasn't banned out. No, yeah. he wasn't. Okay. Darkseer will definitely be picked up. Maybe there's a high chance because Darkseer could go well with Kunkas, um, Torrent and Torrent and his <coughs> ship, that ship, the yeah. ghost ship. Yeah. They could go well. Uh, it looks like Zenith is uh, going to take a, more of a defensive stance during uh, the early and mid-game stages, and there goes the Alchemist, so yeah. It's going to be an aggressive driving with a solo life stealer, possibly at the bottom. Or maybe a solo Alchemist at the bottom and an aggressive driving with a life stealer at the top. Mm -hmm. hmm. But then again, MUFC's driving really synergizes well. Shadow Demon's Disruption with a Kunkas Torrent and of course the Nexus Assassin with a stun just to follow it up. It's really good, but it's gonna be hard to, for them to pick Ten off a hero here on a Zenith Shrine given that yeah, Rubik will be uh, positioning remaining. himself right at the back. 
live series that free BKB and of course our Shaker will be uh, at the back as well because of his long fisher. So yeah, we're not gonna see any weird picks coming out here from Zenith just because uh, Ice 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 is not the one drafting. <laughs> <laughs> the picks are kind of weird though. Oh Shaker and um, Alchemist. Alchemist, I think it's fine. I think Alchemist is fine, but Earth Shaker. We we rarely see our shaker these few days, really, really. No, it still works. I mean, uh, if you can position yourself well with that shaker, then he is still a viable pick. Although, yeah, it looks like they're gonna be a little bit more defensive here. They could gank a little bit with yeah. the tinker, at the end, but yeah. They have a double Ten carry this game, remaining. which is Zenith. Zenith has double carry and rattle trap being picked up, which is clockwork. Yeah. So as I was saying, Zenith have a, has a. Has double carry lineup so they need a lot of farm so the tinker is there for the split push and life there could be really aggressive on the mid lane as well, uh, mid mid lane mid game and well rubik and earth shakers there to support and alchemist is probably to back up their late game when he goes too far and mbfc picking up n a no hard carry team mainly because there are so many hard carries on zedith yeah, i mean they're, they're just gonna fight this out they're gonna try to take advantage in team fights, and uh, I think they could do so given that they can stop Tinker's farm as well as Yamate's farm. But it's gonna be really hard. So, man, it's your time to introduce Team Zenith. Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. So for Zenith, we have um, Yamate on the Alchemist and Ice Ice. Is this ice? No, this is just one ice. Ice is gonna be on the Rubik. Ice 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 is gonna be on a Life Stealer X Y on his Tinker as usual. And X Freedom going up top lane with probably going just to ward um, on the L Shaker. And that's what a Dire Side one of you guys will handle that. Nara, you do it. No, with me. No, 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 Jiden. Stop Go. quarreling. That's free. <laughs> anyway, at the Dire Side <laughs> we have MUFC from Malaysia. We have uh, YY as our Clockwork. We have TFG as the Conga. Hondrash player as the Queen of Pain, laying on the Nyx Assassin, and Winner will be using that Shadow Demon. Uh, there we go again, 2-1. to one. one point advantage for Malaysia, this Dota to the Pride. And uh, if Zenit wins this, they will be up against Orange. If MEFC wins, then Malaysia wins. Kunkar is going to be solo mid. No? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going for the early bottle. And you know, I think Clockwork oh, yeah. is going down bottom lane. So it's going to be a tri top with um, Kunka, uh, Queen of Pain farming up. Hmm, this may be an aggressive tri lane for uh, MUFC. I mean, they could do it. <laughs> and it depends. So a mid Kunka up against. Tinker, I guess that could work, but yeah, he's gonna be having a hard time here. Tinker will be leveling up his uh, laser as to uh, disrupt that Kunga's farm. But of course, XY, he will be, uh, he wants that much of the machines up as fast as possible. Or maybe if he decides to go for a ganking, uh, Tinker well, just max out his first and second. <laughs> X Freedom's in a mid lane. So is this gonna uh, be a dual mid? Possibly, yep, there's gonna be a possible dual mid. Yeah, he's gonna be covering uh, TFG. x is coming uh, in from the back. And there he's coming up. There's the, set, there's the torrent. And now XY is gonna go down all the way to half HP, but there's the sun coming up, blocking them out. So a bit, a little bit of a miss stun there, but it's alright. Miss mistake. But it's fine. As long as XY has and, his farm, uh, it's gonna be fine. And at the bottom lane, you know, Rubik trying to have a go here at uh, YY, but he has that Cogs as his first skill. Well, they're just gonna try and let. Well, Life Steel is going up solo top, is it? Yeah, Ice 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 is solo top. So. Against the Queen of Pain, so that Poison is gonna do some damage to him, but he got Beast as his, le as le his level 1 skill. So he really needs that EXP to get more on the open wounds or the rage. If not, he's gonna go down. Cause just a feast is not enough. So XY is yep, coming yep. in, there's the torrent, the soul catcher is up as well, the stun is gonna come out. He traps XY out of there. 
And TFD oh taking God. a lot of damage there. And uh, yep, he was already he already has his bottle up, so he's all good there. So it's battle of the duel mid and uh, freedom. He may want to. Uh, I don't know. Yep, he's gonna be stacking the uh, angels here for uh, Tinker. And that's going to be uh, really useful here. He will be able to get some levels here at the mid lane while Tinker is going uh, Ancient Farming. A gift for me. And this top lane, really not that controlled here by uh, MUFC. And uh, Ice 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 is not having a hard time getting some levels here. Peeps are just way too deep here for uh, MUFC. Well... So meanwhile on the top lane, ISSS is still desperately trying to get his levels and a little bit of last hits, including some harassments from the Queen of Pain. But on the bottom lane, Alchemist is pretty much having free farm against the Clockwork. So we can Middle lane, another torrent and disruption, X, Y, but he a lot of freedom. damage. There's the stun, nice stun. So he's, he's gonna save his life a little bit and well, X, Y is gonna, going, gonna go back. He has that bottle, so he's gonna be fine. Uh, it's about uh, controlling those rules, but uh, he made bottle crow for a little bit here. But freedom, uh, just doing the support role. And at the bottom lane, Rubik positioning himself. They want to have a go at YY, but stun has been casted here by Yamate. But I don't know. They can catch, catch up. They can catch up. It's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna just be finish. some harassment. It's just way too into the tower sides. So it's just way too far away from from their comfort zone. It's not advisable to go to dive that far away and on the mid lane there might be another clash there's the ping so he does have enough mana for disruption but doesn't have enough for soul catcher probably you. in 10 seconds maybe 9 seconds about there so next session we can see the rotation coming out he is is he gonna rotate down to the mid lane to help out the gank because he also got a bottle as well and ice 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 on the top lane going for 11 last hits compared to queen of pain's 11 so queen of pain it's yeah, even, but Queen of Pain is winning based on EXP, slightly, I think, yep. Nope, yeah, Queen of Pain is I still think, losing. I think that's not bothering uh, Ice 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 a, any bit, because, uh, wait, what? Are we back? What? Okay, call drop for a bit. But yeah, Ice Ice yeah. Ice, uh... He's not he's not bothered by uh, what's happening here at the top lane. What's important is Yamate getting his farm here at the bottom lane. He is getting some levels though because uh, he's uh, trying to disrupt the pool. As you can see here, he's pulling the uh, creep wave on that uh, cap there at the mid lane. Another engagement happening and uh, oh, oh, on all X3 three occasions, X Y nearly dies, but he still manages to live somehow. And yeah, MFC gonna be frustrated by that. No, I think they're good with that because freedom. He's not getting any levels. He's still at level one, and uh, I think they're okay with that. But he shouldn't be complacent with this uh, alchemist happily farming at the bottom lane. Yep, alchemist is really happily farming. He's going for 27 last hits now, so he is getting the free farm of his life and three levels up in goblin's greed. He's actually Grievous greed now. Oh, Konka! No heat seeking missile here for Tinker, and yep, he's gonna survive. <laughs> He's gonna live for now, but XY having go going for 11 last hits compared to Kunka's 24. So based on last hits, um, XY is winning. But the fact that he keeps living through these fights means he's gonna have You're he's not gonna lose out of the XP at all, not that much. So he's not gonna be EXP deprived, but he's he's really lacking on a little bit of farm. 1,800 more gold to his 1,700 more to his BOT anyway. So and another engagement here at the bottom lane, Clockwork, there goes the stun by the Alchemist. Where's the Telekinesis? It's not yet casted, there we go, Telekinesis now, and MC, is it going to be first blood? And Rubik gets the kill. Yep, indeed. So he can't really cast the Telekinesis, because if he did that, then the trees nearby would be destroyed. And it was, <laughs> if it was destroyed, um, he can run away. Uh, the Clockwork would have got away, got away. Show the creep scores, man, show the creep scores. <laughs> creep scores? Oh. Yeah, you're showing the net worth. <laughs> I changed to last and denies already. So yeah, freedom only a level two. I think what's gonna help him is uh, by stacking this uh, neutral cap. That easy cap. There goes the Fisher. There goes the Torn. It connects X Y. He's really low, but Winner taking a lot of damage. But X Y getting killed. X Freedom blocking out his road. 
So that's a little yeah. bit too bad. Because he shouldn't be doing that. Um, but what, what I think that uh, Earthshaker would have done is probably position the stun a little bit better. Instead of blocking out this whole this whole road, should be positioning the stun to allow XY to move in as well. Because that stun blocked XY. Blocked XY from moving in. So he, based, on the, based on each hero's um, natural movement, so once he kind of go this way, he will turn back. So he turned back and got killed. Yep, that's the only problem with that. But still, Yamate being uncontested here in the bottom lane and uh, Clockwork trying to do as much as he can, just spamming that uh, rod flare here on uh, Isis pool. But yeah, a, re a well farm Atlas is really scary, and Yamate is handling that hero. So uh, I don't know. Yep, Alchemist can be really scary once he has his farm. So. But meanwhile, he's having free farm, which means trouble. He will spell trouble for MUFC after some time. Yeah. And uh, Konka going for a vitality booster first, popping up his HP. Going for more survivability in this uh, yeah. matchup. Should be going for Vanguard straight away. So he, he needs to be that tanky, ha get that tankiness come out, coming out of that really quickly. If not, yeah, he's gonna die to that much. Every time, because X Y yep. maxed out the march first, so he's probably going for a more pushing kind of build than the new king type. Uh, the problem with that is uh, if he goes for the tanky route, no one's gonna provide the right tech damage here for M U F C, and that's gonna be a real problem. And of course, Ice 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 can easily tear down that tanky Gonga just because of. Uh, his open wounds. Um, probably not going for that tanky um, type. Probably just going for that vitality booster straight away. So he could tank tank uh, majority of the damage coming out. And Queen, by the in the mid game, no one should have BKB then, um, unless someone is farming really really well. Okay, fine, forget it. Alchemist is farming really well. So he should have BKB very soon if he decides to go go for that in the first uh, first few first items, as his core items. But depending on the situation, I think that Alchemist should be going for something else. There's something that would give him DPS, like the Shadow Blade, which he's going now, for example. And Alchemist shouldn't be going for something which is tanky right off the bat. Because you get a natural tanky tankiness from your ultimate, so you shouldn't be doing that. And on the mid lane here, Ashika is going to be knocked out. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yep, and uh, Urchika getting killed there at the mid lane at the top. Still Queen of Pain just harassing uh, Ice 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 here, trying to deny him as much farm as he can. Ice 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 needs to be careful, there goes the Rage. It has been popped off, blink out. Uh, no, no casualties Rage happening there at the top lane. Top. And Yamate, yeah, he's not, gonna, he's not gonna go for a tanky type. He may go for just his attack speed. Go for the usual build, go for the uh, Maelstrom or the Mjolnir. Possibly an, an Abyssal Blade. It's gonna Radiant be a real help here. Yep. Yeah, I'm just worried for this Kunka. This Kunka is, uh, I don't know, he's wandering around. Maybe just giving some levels here through the support. Of course, winner needs his no, levels no, he's, up. He's just gonna control the rune. Yeah. The rune is really important. And now, on the mid lane, we might see another engagement from this because he has the ship. And if that disruption lands, it's gonna be, yep, the torrent's gonna come out. And there's a nice block. Finally, a nice one. That's a good block. But yeah. it blocks out the person that's TPing in. I think it was Ice 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 that wanted to TP. Ice 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 that wanted to TP in and help, but in the end that Fisher like blocked out the road, so that he sees no point in coming in anymore. Torrent's oh. not gonna hit though. There we go. He's engaging on Ling here at the top lane, and uh, yeah, Nix, yeah, he'll be able to escape. We'll just fend him off, and Ice will be returning to farm. And uh, wait, I think it's not a Shadow Blade. It's, yep, it's a Shadow Blade now up on the Alchemist. Yep. So expect he, that he got the shadow and he got the clean more, so it definitely will be a shadow blade. Unless he's planning to go for um, maybe uh, battle fury, which yeah. I think that will go for. That would be a really farming type of alchemist where you farm a battle fury and start going into the jungles like anti mage. But you don't. Alchemists just can't farm as uh, could farm as fast as the anti mage, but the ability to blink is not there. So, but the God, but the grievous greed does give a lot of um, gold to him. When he when he farms up, especially when he has free farm, he's gonna have a lot of gold coming in his way. So based on net worth, we can see that he's at the top mainly because of that Grievous greed. 
And as for the farming goes, well, in Zenith is winning based on EXP as well as gold. Gold more like 1,500, and into EXP probably 2,000. Oh, that's Morgan Torn there on freedom at the mid lane. A little bit of a headbutting there at the bottom lane. Alchemist uh, just diving this tier one tower. He could uh, they could actually push this tier one tower if they wanted to. Yep. We only have uh, FC here trying to defend. Still not in the night range though, so yeah. Things are gonna be a little bit calm for a little bit. 12 minutes in, still only one point lead so, here for MUFC. Yeah, indeed, indeed. The, the, Kunka, the Kunka is going for um, that Vanguard that I was talking about. And the TP in here from the bottom lane, the lift is coming up, but the stun. X marks the spot, he's gonna come back. So Ice is gonna get caught out right here. He's gonna go down to the Clockwork. Clockwork is gonna claim that. And meanwhile, Yamate runs off with that Shadow Blade. Dyer's middle tower is under yeah, he's gonna be really safe here at the bottom lane, not unless we have detection, but Nick Assassin with the Vendetta up. He's trying to scout this jungle, looking for uh, some heroes, but yeah, Tigger but now from the Korea. Nah, he's not being able to take that. And he's coming in onto the clockwork. So it has an over why, why he's gonna take a lot of damage from this nice stun though. But he does it, the DPS just isn't enough to clear him off really quickly. And he's, he's only on level 1 ult. So he's not going to do much. The attack speed is not as much and Radiance well, the damage is not there as well. Attack. And Queen Pain comes in just nice when he doesn't have his chemical rage. So he's probably not going to come up. He just came out. Alright, fine. He's going for BKB right off the bat. There's that Ogre Club. Uh, of course, he needs that and he knows that once he gets a BKB, basically, they cannot do anything to Yamate anymore. Yep, he's pretty much unstoppable once he has that BKB. So Alchemist TP's back home, heals up and prepares to go and farm again. Meanwhile on the bottom lane, they're just starting to push out. Queen of Pain comes down to the bottom lane, gonna, just gonna Radiant's do some damage to tower this tower. Yeah, they'll be looking to push this. I don't know if uh, Zenith can defend. We have the smoke here on top of uh, Zenith, but they're not gonna reach it in time. The lift is on cooldown. But yeah, Nick Assassin gonna engage here on Ice Ice Ice. Waiting for that demonic purge, there goes the rage. And he's clicking on Ling. There goes a the disruption. Nice oh, disruption. Nice. And he's just waiting for it. POT. Very POT nice. now on XY. Oh. XY is. And yeah, Winter has to back away. Yep, nice but on the bottom there. lane, the Queen of Pain blinks into the trees. And he's able to get away from that. Torrent's not going to hit anything. What did he Torrent there for? Was, was it the Rubik? Oh, yeah, it was the Rubik. I was wondering why there was a Torrent there. So, Shadow Demon out of mana. And Ice 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 is still farming up like crazy. So he's going for that drums right off the bat. Radiance middle tower is under Kun attack. Kunkar yeah. with that double damage Radiance pushing down the mid lane. Is under attack. Yeah, Coming in. in. Torrent is up there. Ice 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 comes in straight okay. away. Rages right off the bat. And now he hooks in. Two CPs away yeah. and the Cox is going to drive them off. Nice save there by YY. So 15, 2 to 3, and uh, Ling now looking to deny this here one tower, but decides to stop it. They want to gank this. Uh, Alchemist. Alchemist. We have uh, any detection here? We have no dust. Can they pull it off though? Queen of Pain needs to be careful. If she shows herself, he's going to immediately use Shadow Blade. And oh, still waiting. Well, he turns on the low side time, so he's able to get away with that. And he's probably going to just start go back to farming once that happens. So. Yeah, fine. But on the tier 1 tower here on the bottom lane, they should probably deny this because down 80, 85 HP. Anyone could go there and backdoor that. So you should probably deny that. Wait, wait. The, I want to get this straight first. Is my audio too loud? I'm going to say, yeah, press 1 if my audio is too loud. This is JTAC. And uh, yeah. Because they're wondering why the audio levels are not balanced. Come on, back to the ball game. 16 minutes in, engagement at the mid lane. There goes the ship. It's not gonna hit anyone though. And disruption there on the Nyx assassin. There was the morning purge on ice. There goes the Fisher. Yamane casting that stun, catching two. Here comes the TP, and there goes the counter ship here by Rubik. There goes the hook shot, and FZ diving in, but he's gonna fall. There was a Sonic wave. Doesn't hit anybody. Four to three. And uh, oh, there was the infest, and the laser kills the Koka. Three heroes down immediately for MFC. Nice there was there. the Fisher on flash player. 
Blink out on the other side. We have the Fade Ball, but no telekinesis. 13 seconds. Will they catch this? Queen of Pain, Queen of Pain, level 4 Blink. There goes the Open Wounds. She is really slow. Will they be able to catch up? No mana for a Fisher. Ice, Ice, Ice wants the kill, wants some blood, but he is backing away. Nice engagement there. Wow. It. That's creamy, Jaden. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, so interesting to, to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And Dagger now up on XY. Wow. <laughs> so the Kunkar is still going for that Shadow Blade. Still building towards that Shadow Blade after now. Um, right now. So do you need me to lower down the volume on your Skype? No, we just have to wait for the uh, chat first. Okay. We're gonna see it anyway. Oh. Probably Alchemist. Still on the way to his BKB. 900 gold more. Signal of the network so still there's central. The, there's the fight. No, he blinks away here. He, he already has blink. So, he's gonna do fine. And on the mid lane, there's gonna be an engagement right now. So, Kunkar is there. They're gonna catch up. They're gonna kill him off. I still has that lift. Telekinesis and that ship coming in. Yeah, it's too loud. It's too loud. Okay. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh wait, they said it's good. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> they said it's good. Dyer's turn it to. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe just level it. Hook shot is not gonna connect to anyone. Well, Yamate is gonna start farming again. Uh, 400 gold more to his BKB, and he has that level two ultimate, so it's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of attack speed coming out. Queen of Pain still building towards that awkward malevolence. Got ice on the top lane. Has that drums already. Doesn't have face boots though, so he's not able to catch up on anything. And ice, 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 getting perched up right here. X Y comes in here with the laser, so they're gonna kill off the Queen of Pain. Nice, done. Very nice, and three more seconds now, but he doesn't have the mana right now for open wounds. Comes in, X Y blinks in there. Ice, ice, ice gets trapped in there. He gets trapped. He trapped himself. But Isis doesn't have the mana to do anything much, so. But, well, yeah. XY here getting stunned, but he doesn't have the mana to. The Nyx Assassin doesn't have the Dyer's mana to continue. Tower has to continue while Alchemist is just pushing the mid lane, already has the BKB up. And Alchemist, yeah, just getting his farm here. 8 to 4. And once again, MUFC there at the back, back end here. They cannot push any towers here. They're having a hard time in pushing out. But. Yeah, uh, two towers taken down by uh, Zenith Gold Graph, and you can see plus 7500 here just because of that alchemist. Yeah. Well, Ice 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 still farming up 2.9k gold in his pocket, something. Probably gonna get something Dyer's that he wants, I guess. Probably Dyer's Desolator. Bottom tower has fallen. <coughs> And Queen of Pain nearing that Orchid Malevolence, they really need that if they want to stop that Tinker. And XY... That hook's not gonna hit, it's not gonna connect that hook. They, they saw... The, yeah, with that ward, they saw the march, and he wanted, they, he wanted to try the hook, but he missed. Anyway, no one was there. So Nara, what are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> no, please, just keep going. I'm listening to you. It's really interesting. To Bottom lane. To you. I can. Yeah. Go. Bottom lane. Getting caught up, and there's the missile and laser coming out. So he's gonna go down. Yeah. Well, basically, Yamate is uh, 
unstoppable right now, although we died once, but yeah, his farm is just insane. I mean, insane. like, he has a Shadow Blade, Black King Bar, and he still has 2.7k in his pocket. That's really, really a lot of gold to be going the way of Alchemist. And this game might not scale late at all because they have just like so much farm. They don't they don't really need to scale late anymore. One one team fight and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And uh, we have an infested uh alchemist here. Life Stealer is inside. And MUFC is still trying to get those farms up. They are really under level, they are under farm here. As opposed to Zenith. Especially this Konka. Konka, he is trying to go for that Shadow Blade, try to get that damage with that Time Bringer. But yeah, we're already 22 minutes in. I don't know how much damage that is gonna do. Maybe you could pick off some supports here and there. But yeah. Oh, Tinker has his four staff. Yeah, he's the, he's had that for quite a while now, and he's going for a Blink Dagger. He has Blink. Ah, for, for the Dagons. Dagon. Yeah. Pretty much, he has that nuke, nuke damage coming out. And meanwhile, Kunka still building towards that Shadow Blade. On the mid lane, they're coming out. Nice stun here! Gets a double stun, and he turns on the BKB. And Yamate gets the kill as well as Ice Ice Ice. They managed to clear the team. They managed to clear some heroes on the mid lane. So, Yamate doing really well right now. Getting another kill, which is more gold going in his pocket. He has... What did he buy? He bought a Reaver, so he's going for hearts. How they will manage to kill him? Yeah, that's a problem. MVFC doesn't have the right click power, even though they uh, thrust all of their skills on that alchemist, it's just too much. He's too tanky right now. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, I'm just gonna tank this if they want to get this tower. Well, the march is just chasing them off. They, they wouldn't want to come near that because of the march. Oh, there it goes. The hope is gonna miss an shot. ice, ice, ice. Nearly getting the nearly getting the kill, but too bad he moves on and switches his target to the clockwork. But the ship is gonna land on ice. The supports are still behind. Ice Ice, ice is left out, up top there alone, so he got killed off. He they can't leave him alone. A life stealer can fight all of them at one time. Meanwhile, X Y they just gotta push out the bottom lane. Yeah, they have to back off a bit first. Uh, MFC has the uh, high ground right now. Yeah, they said they only they took him. The they can see him. They can see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they killed, he killed all the Shadow Demons. Uh, oh, XY oh, no. in deep, like deep trouble right now. I do. That's his he punishment. Was yeah. <laughs> like yesterday, I was playing some game and my friend asked me to bite someone and he was, I will save you. Just go. Go there and. He just left me alone and I died. <laughs> so he couldn't make, kill anybody and didn't manage to save me at all. So they did the same with this Shadow Demon. <laughs> oh, poor girl. <laughs> no, but Shadow That's Demon yeah. got killed. Uh, I mean, the Tinker got killed in the end. Anyway, Ice 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 has that awkward malevolence up. So, I guess very strong. That like, silence probably going to be useful against that Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain also has uh, Orchid up anyway after so long. Meanwhile, the other heroes having some items of their own. Clockwork into face boots, uh, I mean, threads. Instead of the usual face boots, but Alchemist already has his heart. Oh, heart of the shot. Rest. Nah, they cannot engage him. He saw he has the He's just heart. so tanky. Yeah. <laughs> you can't kill him. just them. not gonna work. <laughs> Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, it looks like Zenith, they want to push this top lane, Ice Ice Ice, a little bit uh, too deep here, there goes a silence yeah, on Nyx's They're gonna come in, Ice 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 getting trapped for a little bit, he eventually crawls his way out and Ice 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 getting slow here, the Soul Catcher and that ship coming in killing him off, and meanwhile oh, the Queen of Pain wow. going down, that March killing off, killing off the Rubik as well. Wait, where's the fight? There we go, disruption here. here. We've got disruption, it's the alchemist. Yeah, they're, gonna sh they're just gonna try and disable this uh, alchemist. They cannot do anything to him. Yup, and Yamate so is still in there. There's, I saw dust being turned on, but Queen of Pain bought back, didn't she? And that... that she has ultimate. That, no, that Fisher again. <laughs> X-Freedom just, doing, just not, not doing well with that Fisher. 
Really? I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching only for the Queen of Pain. <laughs> I see, I see. Bottom tower but was just under watching attack. herself play. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I've noticed that uh, X Freedom is actually making a lot of mistakes with his Fisher. Although it's kind of hard to position a, a, a Fisher really well, but he's like not landing the Fisher really well. Just now when the stun was here, um, it actually screwed up the the positioning of Yamato. So the blink is being used up, and there's the stun coming out. He, she's gonna go down. She fell into the trap, and Tinker came in with the Dagon. Dagon one. Yeah, I mean, there's just too much for MUFC to handle right now. Again, what we were talking about earlier, they don't have the right click power to deal with this Atomist. And that's what they needed. They, they weren't able to dominate the mid game. I mean, that was the plan by picking up the Shadow Demon and the Thick Assassin, but they were just. Uh, they just uh, didn't push through. That's the asset. And Kunka getting stunned and Ice goes in for the lift and well they are stepping in. So the BKB being turned on, the stun is there. So it's probably gonna land on the clockwork. Yeah, clockwork is gonna get killed, killed off. And well Nick Assassin here yeah. would have been dead up gonna kill Ice Rubik. Is he gonna fall? I think not. There goes the Fisher. Nick Assassin is trapped. Nice telekinetics and the silence and down. Double kill for Ice, 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 two heroes down, and MUFC, you know, they cannot do this, they cannot fight this anymore. I mean, Zenith is just killing them slowly in this matchup. Yep. Anyway, the tower is going to take a lot of damage right now. 700 HP, it's going to go down, it's going to take a fall really quickly. And on the top lane, the tower also fell, in which Queen of Pain couldn't manage to deny that. Seventeen to ten, fifteen k in the gold graph advantage for Zenith. Seventeen k on uh, Agamemnon's net worth. Yep. I don't know how they're gonna get back into this. Queen of Pain just trying to go for the BKB has the Ogre Club up, but Konka Shadowblade Vanguard that's not gonna cut it. And now Yamate is just solo with Roshan. He's going for the assault Keras. He has a lot of HP to heal up, so he's fine. He gets the Roshan anyway. So he's asking, get, getting Tinker to grab it. No, Ice is going to take it. So Welcome is just going to head back into the jungle and start farming up towards that Assault Kuras. Meanwhile, Earthshaker um, farming up. Oh well. What is Nice going for? Hex or... Yasha. Uh, Yasha. Nice Manta star. Manta. Manta? 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 Oh, or maybe a Sangi Yasha. Oh no, Manta! He has the ultimate orb in a Yasha recipe in his uh, stash. That's Ice Ice oh, Ice for okay. you. Oh, okay. I, I can see that. Yeah. Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, never mind. I didn't see the recipe. Rock it on! <laughs> So ice, ice, ice. Something new, going for Mansa stuff. And they're just coming in. It's a trap for ice, ice, ice. He's get, he's getting silenced. The silence on the wrong hero though. He passed into the illusion. Wow, nice. Nice, and he comes out. He turns out. Oh, and down goes the clockwork. Infesting himself. <laughs> But yeah, Zenith, they can push here. They're just waiting for the alchemist. Uh, next item, Karas is already completed. There's also a smoke there. Tinker, what does he have? He has attack on level 3. There was the X mark. There's Probably a stun coming out, and Nyx Assassin is probably gonna be the target. No. Alright, uh, he, was not, he wasn't the target, so. Oh well. <laughs> oh well, you sound disappointed, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought that Ice Assassin would be going for the Nyx Assassin, which was over here. That he could actually get, but well, he he went for he got the open wounds on the Kunka instead. Well, so the tower is gonna take a fall here on the mid lane as well. MUFC trying hard, they better try to defend this. They can't let another yes. tower go. Kunka trying to go for the side here. We don't have yeah, any. On the bottom lane. Bottom lane, what's happening here? Queen of Pain Jeez. getting singled out here by Ice Ice Ice. She gets killed here. Three tower being focused down here by. Uh, 
Yamate. Grass on top, but yeah. So the tower here, probably gonna take a fall. Uh, Trying to delay the farm as much as they can, but they, yeah. did, they didn't deny the tower. MUFT did it. So hitting the tower like crazy, and well, Ice gets X marks the spot. Golden XP crust, please. <laughs> Golden XP crust. But they want that. Um, okay. As for the gold, um, I don't know if you guys want to see. It's it's just so huge. You guys wouldn't want to see. It. It's like twenty thousand. <laughs> <Really too much. laughs> they're, they're just giving uh, alchemists too much free farm. Really. This is what happens when you give alchemists free farm. Oh, wait, wait, and there's, there's a glance shot. coming in and the hook and shot comes in but he's gonna get caught out himself. He's gonna get killed off. Meanwhile, the Ice Ice still has that Aegis, he's gonna come come back to life. Meanwhile, he just goes in like that, like... Oh, he goes in the creeps. So he comes out and is he gonna turn around? No. No, oh, relax. <laughs> yeah. Teammates on out there, we have... Nah, it's just too much. 20 to 10. They've already lost the mid tower. Yeah, now Yamate just chipping away on this tier 3 tower. Just to, gonna try and defend this until the end. Gonna try and wear out Zenith for Orange's match. Down goes the Shadow Demon in a blink of an eye. Man, it's not completed on life. X marks the spot here. He stole X marks the spot, so the ship is gonna come in. And GG being caught up from MUFC. Uh, it's GG. It's GG. Mm -hmm. They weren't able to control the alchemist in the bottom lane. Yeah. And uh, Kunga wasn't really able to do anything. I believe one game, one mistake they did was to let the alchemist free farm, which I think was the main, which, which I think was the main mistake that they did. Nah, and I think it was really hard for them to. I mean, they have no heroes to choose from that can out carry. The uh, Alchemist. Maybe a morphling, but it's, yeah. Alchemist. Alchemist is actually really hard to counter. Maybe um, Slaughter. Nice. No, Slaughter is not gonna do anything. <laughs> no, I, I mean that amplify that, that damage amplification is really what they need. That armor reduction is what they need. Yeah, but still. The way Alchemist farms, the, how fast an Alchemist can farm is just too much. Yeah, indeed. Attack. They have to stop. They should have stopped. Um, the they should have stopped the Alchemist from farming at the start instead of letting him free farm on the bottom lane. So if this is gonna be the end of the second uh, fourth game for today, it's gonna be uh, MUFC walking out of the game. Zenith win. Has Zenith won. has claimed this game, so. We're just gonna move on to the fifth game, which is gonna be Orange going up against um, Zenith for now. Which is the final game for today, so. Yep, so it's to all. Let's see who's gonna take the win. Is it gonna be Malaysia or Singapore? Stay tuned. So, the game. Sorry? Uh, are we in stream? Yes. Still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought that you <laughs> turned it off. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. I didn't turn that Let off. Did you ask something? Okay, we'll ask you a bit later. <laughs> okay, we're ready for Orange. Yep, now it's the final uh, game. Yeah. They were, uh, I mean, Ohio was watching. Shout out to Orange, Ohio. I wish he, I wish him good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck to both Orange as well as Zenith for now because this is gonna be a game that everyone wants to watch. The best, the best team in Singapore competing against the best team in Malaysia, which is Orange and Zenith.
which I believe they're the best, uh, one of the best. They're really top, the one of the top tier teams in each, in their countries respectively. Oh, how much time do we have?